Hi, ArcfieldWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday afternoon, February the 6th. Well, the title of this video discussion has to be, if you like winter storms, then this is about as good as it gets. We're just now wrapping up with a winter storm in the Mid-Atlantic region that produced some ice in some areas and even some snow and uh, uh, some plain rain as well. Temperatures still kind of hanging around freezing in many parts of the interior Mid-Atlantic region, so there's still some freezing rain out there. This storm system is winding down. There will be a winter storm over the upcoming weekend, primarily Saturday into Saturday night it winds down by early Sunday morning which is a good thing because a lot of people might be traveling Sunday afternoon in the Mid-Atlantic region for uh, Super Bowl uh, Sunday. The Super Bowl game begins at, at 6.30 on Sunday evening. Should be no weather or travel issues on Sunday afternoon uh, in the lead up to that game. And then there's a significant snow threat early next week, probably in the later Tuesday and early Wednesday time frame. It could be another winter storm threat just a short time after that during the middle or latter part of next week as this ongoing very, very active winter weather pattern continues at least for the next couple of weeks. Let's start off here by taking a look at the 250 millibar winds. This is the jet stream in the upper part of the atmosphere that certainly plays an important role in the development of storm systems. Just wanted to kind of walk through this rather quickly over the next week or so just to show the the uh, the strength of the jet stream here and the the fact that there'll be multiple jet streaks involved. Those are areas, smaller regions within the overall jet stream with higher winds than surrounding areas and when you have lots of jet streaks in the overall very active jet stream, likely to see multiple storm systems indeed. That is on the table for the eastern part of the nation over the next couple of weeks. Again, let's just move forward quickly. We're looking at the, the wind speeds here, way up in the upper part of the atmosphere, what we call the 250 millibar layer here. And here we are into the upcoming weekend, one jet streak here on Saturday crossing over the northeast U.S and just a very, very active uh, upper level jet streak here as we, uh, jet stream here as we go into the latter part of the weekend and then into the early part of next week and it just goes on and on. This is a time frame where there very well may be a strong storm system off the mid-Atlantic coastline producing potentially significant snow in much of the uh, mid-Atlantic region. We just go on and on and it just remains active and even more active here. Here we are a week from right now. This is next Thursday, February 13th, and there are signs that that Tuesday, Wednesday system could be followed rather closely by another winter storm for uh, the mid-Atlantic region. Let's say Wednesday, Thursday time frame and going even beyond that it stays relatively active here going all the way through uh, next week and into the following weekend and even signs of additional storm threats beyond these next three the one over the weekend the one from tuesday into wednesday and another one let's say wednesday into thursday of next week so very very active couple of weeks coming uh, to much of the nation, but specifically the Mid-Atlantic region in the Northeast and the Northeast U.S. Now let's kind of walk through each of these next three storm threats here for uh, the Mid-Atlantic region. This is using the very latest, the 12Z run of the GFS model. Uh, it came out earlier today here and we're just winding down right now with um, a system here that is continuing to produce some significant snow up across New England and upstate New York. Still some icing over the uh, northern mid-Atlantic region. Now we will push through here and look at the setup for the weekend. First of all, here we go by tomorrow morning there will be another cold frontal system right here by the time we get to tomorrow morning that pushes from northwest to southeast uh, during the next 24 hours or so and that will uh, usher in a fresh, cold, dry air mass as we end the week here on Friday into Friday night, especially overnight hours on Friday night going into Saturday. It will become a noticeable change to a cold and dry air mass by the time we get to Saturday morning. Low temperatures, even in the big cities, probably in the low to mid-20s when you wake up on 
Saturday morning. Kind of a similar setup here as this past event here with the cold frontal passage earlier in the week, cold dry air moving in and setting the stage for some ice uh, on uh, last night into this morning. Then we move into the, uh, the end of the day on Friday and into the morning on Saturday. This Saturday morning forecast map. Again, a similar setup with high pressure kind of anchored over New England here as we begin the day on Saturday. Pretty cold, dry air mass in place here. And then we get moisture gathering to the south and west. And notice, I also want to point out the, the track of this storm system for the weekend. Up to the west here, we get uh, perhaps mixed precipitation arriving in D.C., let's say midday on Saturday, and then it, it pushes off to the north and east. Now, I believe it could be cold enough for primarily snow north of the Mason-Dixon line at the onset of this weekend system, let's say later Saturday afternoon in the Philly metro area and late Saturday afternoon, early evening, New York City. Could even be some accumulations of snow on uh, this weekend event here, n again, north of the Mason-Dixon line. Philly could end up with anywhere, let's say, from a coating to a couple of inches. New York City, two to as much as four or even five inches of snow possible late Saturday, Saturday night. Now, in all areas, that snow uh, certainly can change with or uh, uh, change, mix with or change over to sleet and freezing rain by Sunday morning. Still could be some icing uh, up across uh, the northern part of the Mid-Atlantic region. That then moves on out by the time we get to uh, uh, midday on Sunday, let's say, out of the Mid-Atlantic region. And here we are uh, midday on Sunday in dry conditions. Again, good travel conditions if anybody is going on the road uh, for the Super Bowl, which is, of course, early Sunday evening. Cold, dry air to follow here uh, uh, this Saturday, Saturday night event for the latter part of the upcoming weekend. And that kind of sets the stage for the next uh, um, a storm system. Now, before we, we go to the early part of next week, one thing I forgot to mention, this storm on Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, the initial storm does push up into the Appalachians of West Virginia, maybe southwestern Pennsylvania, and then it uh, kind of transfers its energy to a secondary low by late Saturday night, early Sunday morning over the uh, coastal waters of the Mid-Atlantic region. That's the difference with the early next week storm threat. That next one, let's say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time frame, and here we are Monday morning, will take more of a southern track here, and that's crucial because that allows for more cold air to be established ahead of it in the Mid-Atlantic region. And here we go, by the time we get to Monday night and then Tuesday, Storm gathering its strength way down south over the lower Mississippi Valley region, cold enough for snow to break out midday on Tuesday. And again, this is still several days away, so nothing is set in stone here, but this looks like a potential snowstorm for much of the Mid-Atlantic region. Then we go into the uh, evening hours on Tuesday, and here's that storm way down here. Now keep in mind this Saturday, early Sunday system first drives up to West Virginia, and then that secondary forms off the mid-Atlantic coastline. This will take more of a direct route to the coastal waters of the mid-Atlantic region. In fact, let's move out a little bit farther in time. This is late Tuesday night into early Wednesday. Significant snow on this particular model run from D.C. to Philadelphia to New York City. And that low-pressure area, instead of heading up to the west of the I-95 corridor, goes uh, uh, more of a southern route from the lower Mississippi Valley to off the mid-Atlantic coastline by the time we get to late Tuesday night into early Wednesday. Here it stands on Wednesday morning uh, well off the mid-Atlantic coastline with still kind of that typical cold conveyor belt type snowfall on the northwest side of the cold sector on Wednesday morning. Right on its heels, looks like another storm could develop again with all that support in the upper part of the atmosphere there's uh, the potential of another storm system for the latter part of next week. Here we go into Thursday of next week. And notice strong high pressure uh, parked over southeastern Canada. That virtually ensures cold air will be tough to dislodge here 
in the northeastern part of the country. But uh, the details on this particular event will just have to wait until we get through the weekend and then the uh, first half of next week uh, before we can really fine tune in the details on this potential third winter storm for the Mid Atlantic region over just the next seven or eight days or so. Now, beyond this, certainly more storms will threaten, and there's uh, certainly more cold air masses up across Canada that will make their way into the central and eastern U.S. So if you like winter storms, this is about as good as it gets over the next couple of weeks here, especially if you're located in the Mid-Atlantic region. One winter storm affects the Mid-Atlantic region this weekend, primarily Saturday, Saturday night time frame, and then another one uh, early to the middle part of next week with the possibility of sig significant snow in the Mid-Atlantic region, let's say from later Tuesday into early Wednesday and potentially a third winter storm threat during the latter part of next week. That's it for now. For arcfieldweather.com, this has been meteorologist Paul Dorian.